Whatever you do, you got to remember. Keep it in your heart. Tell it to your children. Wherever you go, from home to walking down the road, you need to talk about it. Tie strings around your fingers. Make jewelry about it. Tie a note to your head. Write it where you can see it as you leave and return home on your doors and gates. Whatever you must do, just don't forget it. I mean, cook the same meal you were eating when it happened if that's what you need to do. Do you have a normal road that you travel? Build yourself a memorial of it all at the crossroads so that not only will you remember, but your children and grandchildren will never forget. Just remember. So our Lord instructs. We've all seen them, right? Every color of the rainbow and multicolored too. Those thin rubber bracelets with WWJD emblazoned or etched on them. They were all the rage just a few years ago. They irritated me back then. My mind went from hypocritical to superficial in my unspoken accusations against those who adorned their wrists in such a manner. The truth is, I knew I couldn't wear one because I knew the object of the inscription and he wasn't pleased with me. Those little bracelets are reminders. I met a recovering addict several years ago who had an interesting tattoo. Now, the tattoo wasn't that interesting. It was the location. Now, I know what some of you think, and I'm not here to argue the legitimacy of tattoos. I will say that most people who get tattoos eventually regret them, but I could digress. So, my friend had a tattoo of a cross in the crook of his left arm, directly over the median cubital vein. That was his favorite vein in which to stick a needle. To him, it was profoundly symbolic. To shoot up again, he'd have to stick the needle through the cross, lest he forget. Oh, I've got my mementos. I no longer have my boots from that walk of faith from five years ago. They were inadvertently tossed by my daughter last year. But I've got pictures, and if you ever hear me speak, I will have those pictures with me, that along with the backpack and some fuzzy pink and green socks. I have items that take me back to the time of God's significant move in my life. He hasn't stopped, and neither have I, in collecting reminders of his work in and on my life. I have some special Dave's Daily Doses printed and hanging on my walls at home and in my office. I have a little bronze owl my friend Elizabeth in Massachusetts gave me. She's a sister in Christ, and the owl reminds me of all the beautiful people that God has placed in my life. It sits prominently on a shelf in my room. As age and time dull the direct memory of specific times, I have things that take me back to particular actions of my father. I hope I will never forget. I cannot allow myself to. I must keep my anchors to the memory of God's act of grace in my life, and that is certainly worth remembering. Some of you started. You may have a childhood Bible with a date inscribed in the front, but you ceased collecting long ago. God never stopped. He's not forgotten you. He doesn't ever. He does have an advantage, though. He is God, and we aren't. And too often, as the enemy assaults, we forget. As the years fade past realities, our memories dim. Our ship of life needs anchors in time to remember safe harbors, to keep the memories fresh. Maybe you need to build a replica of the tomb in the corner of your yard. Perhaps like me, you might eat a can of Beanie Weenies on April 22nd of every year. No, that probably doesn't do for you what it does for me. But maybe you have a shirt that takes you back. This is the very shirt that I wore on my journey. I've protected it well, and I often wear it when I speak. And aren't some things better left to drift into the past, unrecalled into the present? You should probably toss out those shot glasses and throw away those t-shirts and remove the symbol of things that don't belong to God out of your life. As we leave behind our former lives, so should we leave behind those former things and press on to the call of Christ. To press on, Sometimes we need to remember, and often we need mementos as vehicles to take us where we should go. I don't always remember to be grateful for my friends, but there's an owl with an unending stare that oft catches my eye. When other things distract me, I walk a mile in my mind in a particular pair of boots. Though unwearable today, they still take me into his presence. So build a museum in honor of his moves in your life if you have to but you should never, ever forget. And he is awaiting your call.